We're now going to start looking at components, schematic symbols, and their conventions. Now, what you'll find is a lot of schematic symbols, the components in your drawings, are standard AutoCAD blocks with attributes that are associated with the database in the project. So let's have a look at those schematic symbols and their conventions. Now, before we do that, there are ways and means of checking the properties of a particular component in a schematic drawing. Now, I've loaded up some push button switches there, and there's some relay coils there as well. The relay coils are set to the NC state, normally closed, and the push buttons are just regular push buttons, PB001, PB002. Now, if I type the word properties in the drawing area, this will open up the properties palette when I press enter. And there it is there. I've docked it deliberately so that it's neat and tidy on the screen. If I now go and select that push button there, it'll show me that it's a block reference. And if I use the slider bar here and slide down, you can see, look, there's a whole shed load of attributes there that you would use. So you'll see that the block family is PB for push button. Contact is NO, normally open, rather than NC, normally closed. And there's also catalog data, manufacturer, location, description. All of this comes into when you insert the component in the first instance. Now, you can look at the properties this way. This is actually quite unwieldy now, though, but what you can do, I'll close the properties palette to get the screen back. With that push button selected, I'll right click and I can go to attributes here on our little flashlight system. I can list edit like that, and there's all of the attributes there. If I tick edit attributes, I can go and edit them that way. If I select the push button again, right click and go attributes now and just do edit attribute i can pick the attribute i want to edit in this case the tag and i can go and edit that and i can change that to let's say three updates automatically this one here if i pick similar text and go for pb003 like that and okay it it updates to three press enter to finish now that is just a tag so they can have the same tag. It's not an attribute that is physically driven by, say, the project settings or the drawing settings. So those are your schematic symbols and conventions. And what you've got to think about is when you're using all of these symbols, they are linked to the database, they are linked to the project, and they are linked to the drawing. So be aware of that. When you need to edit these particular symbols and conventions, make sure that you edit appropriately when you bring them into the drawing. So, for example, if I bring a new symbol into the drawing. Let's go for another relay or contact, for example. If I bring in something like a relay coil, and I'll drop that there like that, make sure that you put all the information in here. So for example, we might want catalog data. We need to look that up. So that will go to the database now and look up all of the ones that are in the database library. So if I went for that one there, let's say, and I okayed that, and then okayed it again, it updates. And it says now, this drawing contains related components. They may no longer match the edited component. That's OK. We'll say yes, update. Updates the drawing. And there we are. Now, you'll notice this part of that there. It's come in there. So we need to make sure that that is linked together. OK, so we might need to move that part of that particular attribute and bring it up here. Very easy to do. I can click there, right click, attribute, and there's move attribute there. If I select that part of it there, like that, select object, click on it there, base point, I'll pick a point and I can move the attribute. Can you see that? And it's all part of that attribute up there, that K1. So I'll just hit escape there because I don't want that to move, but you get the idea. So these conventions have to be adhered to when you're using your schematic symbols and conventions in your drawings in AutoCAD Electrical.